Hey everyone, sorry I couldn't be in class with you today, so um, I'm going to walk you through all of the um, steps for a listening comprehension activity. So you probably have a piece of paper uh, ready to take some notes. Um, you'll, in this listening, you'll be uh, having uh, questions uh, that will be asking you about details, which is the most common co type of, of uh, TOEFL question. Of course, the gist main idea, the gist, is usually the first thing that uh, they say, and so you want to make sure, yeah, make note of that. Why is the professor giving this lecture? What's the point, the purpose? Maybe it's a review. Maybe it's an introduce a new topic. Uh, who knows? But yeah, listen for the very first thing and then take notes on that because you'll be asked a question no doubt about that. You got your paper, and be sure to don't write down every single word uh, and be sure to try to shorten the words so that they are like abbreviated or use symbols or uh, draw pictures or you know, even in your native language just so you can remember it for the next two or three minutes. So here we go. Listen to a lecture in a music class. The trumpet of today, with its long, oblong loop of metal and three piston valves, is a brass instrument that has a commanding role in modern-day bands and orchestras. This modern musical instrument has a long and interesting history. As we take a look at the development of the trumpet, you should keep the following points about the trumpet in mind. First, the trumpet is a universal instrument that has been part of numerous cultures. Second, the trumpet has undergone numerous mutations in its development. Third, the trumpet has served a variety of purposes in its various mutations and in different cultures. The first point that we want to understand about the trumpet is that many early cultures had their own distinct version of a trumpet, so it's difficult to say that the trumpet originated in one specific culture. Early cultures in Africa and Australia had trumpet-like hollow tubes, and by 1400 B.C., the Egyptians had developed wide-belled trumpets made from bronze and silver. Assyrian, Greek, Etruscan, Roman, Celtic, and Teutonic civilizations all had some form of the trumpet. And during the Crusades in the Middle Ages, the Europeans were introduced to the Arab trumpa. Another point to understand about the trumpet is that it has undergone extensive changes in construction, both in the materials used and in its shape. In this drawing, you can see various types of trumpets that have been used throughout the ages. Some of the materials that have been used to construct trumpets are the uh, cane plant, horns or tusks of animals, and um, metals such as bronze, silver, and brass. In shape, the trumpet began as a long, hollow, straight tube to which a wide-mouthed bell was later added to magnify the sound. Then, as the tubing got longer and longer, it, uh, it was bent to make the instrument more convenient, first into an S-shape and then into the circling loop of today. To increase the number and accuracy of tones produced, keys and a slide similar to the slide on a trombone were added to the trumpet before the uh, three piston valves of the modern trumpet became the norm. I'm going to get back to this in a moment, but I don't want to get sidetracked just yet. So, on to the third point. And that point is that the trumpet has served a variety of purposes. The trumpet has only relatively recently been considered a musical instrument. For most of its long history, it's been used in other ways. First, the trumpet has been used for ceremonial purposes, perhaps to herald the arrival of an important person, or to add to a celebration or rite. In addition, the trumpet has been used for communication over distances. Ancient versions of the trumpet with a limited range of low, powerful notes were used for communication from village to village and from mountaintop to mountaintop. Finally, the trumpet has been used by numerous cultures in battle to announce the charge into battle and to encourage troops to fight more intensely during battle. It wasn't until the last few centuries when changes and improvements to the trumpet made it more versatile, that it became established in its role as a musical instrument. 
Now, the biggest problem with the trumpet as a musical instrument was its limited range of notes. Because of the physics of its design, the natural trumpet, um, this is the trumpet that has only one long tube, can only sound the notes of a single overtone series. That means it cannot play all the notes of classical music. For centuries, this fact kept the trumpet from reaching its full musical potential. It was the addition of the valves, perfected at the beginning of the 19th century, that allowed the trumpet to become fully chromatic, or able to play all of the notes of the classical scale. Another important addition to the modern trumpet is the tuning slide. Slides had allowed trumpeters to change pitch for a long time, but the tuning slide of the modern instrument has the purpose of simply keeping the trumpet in tune. It can be adjusted so that the trumpet can always be tuned to exactly the correct note. Okay, so now you see what the trumpet was used for through history. And you can also see why very little music was written for the trumpet until the 19th and especially 20th century. This was when the modern trumpet achieved the necessary range through various improvements. Thank you very much. I've been practicing. So, trombone. Uh, I don't play, but neither does my wife, really, so she just has it as a decoration. But that's what this is. Trombone. Everybody say trombone. You have a partner. You don't know what page the questions are going to be found. So at this point, before I tell you the page number, uh, just talk with your neighbors there at your table and try to guess and anticipate what kind of details am I going to be asked. Not me, you. Uh, what kind of details are you going to be asked? You'll speak. I will not listen. You can pause the video. All right, you've taken excellent notes and you've uh, worked with your partner trying to guess what kind of questions you're going to get. And here is the page number. Nailed it. Okay, work with your partner, talk with each other. Uh, of course, um, number 10, you're going to have to listen again to a little part again. So, you know, just do. Six, seven, eight, nine, eleven. Okay, skip number ten for now. We'll come back to that. Okay, you can pause the video. All right, first question is a gist question. So I suppose if the sub wants to ask, or maybe I can do it. Uh, what do you think uh, number one is? Everybody just yell it out really loud. Can't hear you because I'm in the past. So, all right. Here is the uh, answer to number one. All right. So, answer choice B is correct. The professor says that the students should keep several points in mind, including the fact that the trumpet has undergone numerous mutations in its development, and quote, the trumpet has served a variety of purposes. And the professor then elaborates uh, on these points. Uh, he talks about it further. Okay. And there's an explanation for why the other ones don't work. Okay. Pretty sure most of y'all got that one. That was the first detail. All right. Maybe not. I don't know. I bet that was pretty straightforward, huh? No big deal. What do you think uh, number seven is? You can yell it out here. Yeah, talk with each other. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ooh, maybe controversy. Anybody disagree? Mm, uh, ooh, okay. I don't know. So, anyway, here is the answer. To number seven, an explanation. Okay, number seven, it's a detailed question. The culture where the earliest trumpet is uh, developed is known. No, it is not. Okay. Today's trumpet is much like the earliest trumpet. No. Uh, the trumpet has been used in many different ways. Yes. Uh, many different types of music have been written for the trumpet. No. Hmm. All right, so according to the lecture, Quote, it is difficult to say that the trumpet originated in one specific culture and the trumpet has, quote, undergone extensive changes in construction, meaning that modern trumpets are not like the earliest ones. The professor then says the trumpet has served a variety of purposes, but he does not mention different types of music written for the trumpet, only that little was written until the 20th century. Oh, that may have tricked you some. So that may have tripped some of you up. I don't know. Moving on to um, number eight. I'm going to let my substitute call on you, and 
you can tell the class what your group came up with, okay? All right. This is for number eight. Okay. Any mystery there? Okay. Number eight. Any discussion? Okay. Here's the answer to number eight. Number eight. Answer choices A, C, and E are correct. The professor says that the trumpet was used for ceremonial pr purposes to herald or announce. I know that may have been a new word for you, but uh, I think in the context of the lecture, you may have uh, defined it for you in the context to herald or announce. You might have heard that word maybe in the Christmas song, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Yeah, it's like a big announcement, yeah. Uh, the arrival of an important uh, personage. <laughs> Uh, nobody uses the word personage. And for communication over distances from mountaintop to mountaintop, the professor also says that the tubing of the trumpet was uh, bent to make the instrument more convenient. Answer B is incorrect because the professor does not mention that trumpets were carved from stone and that although he describes some of the other materials trumpets were made of, he does not imply that they were made of metal only in the latest um, that they were all, that were made of metal only in the last few centuries. Therefore, D is incorrect. Ooh, shoot, maybe not. Yeah. Um, okay. That's number eight. All right. Okay. Moving on to number nine. Maybe uh, sub the substitute can call on somebody else now from a different group. Uh, maybe somebody in the back. Huh? All right. Here is the answer. Hmm. Number nine, answer choice A and D are correct. The professor says that the trumpet began as, quote, a straight tube to which a bell was later added. He then, add, uh, the, the, he then says that later the tubing was bent. Um, answer choice B is incorrect because the valves, uh, that's, the point, that's the thing that you put your fingers on and, and press down, the valves were later uh, added later than all the other parts and the answer choice C is incorrect because according to the lecture the bell was added before the tube was bent okay that's number nine now, okay for number ten you've got to listen to a clip again and uh, and uh, infer the meaning from uh, his tone of voice and uh, other things so here is the clip to hear, hear again for number ten number ten Listen again to part of the passage, then answer the question. I'm going to get back to this in a moment, but I don't want to get sidetracked just yet. So, on to the third point. Why does the professor say this? All right, you can pause the video, talk with your neighbors. Who do you think, uh, I mean, what, what do you think it is? These are usually pretty straightforward. Okay. I think you got it. Okay. And there's the answer. All right, here's number 10. It's the function question, listening for inference. It's B is correct. Professor said that he, that he is, quote, going to get back to this, that is to say, his second point in a moment. And he says that he doesn't want to get sidetracked. There's an idiom there. You know, I'm not sure what sidetracked means. It means it distracted from his original plan. And hopefully, maybe from the, the lecture there, it from the context, you can kind of uh, infer that meaning. Answer choice C and D are incorrect because the professor does not imply anything about student questions, but he says that he will return in to the second point, so he apparently has not spent too much time on it. Okay. All right, last one. Maybe my substitute can call on one other person and uh, hasn't done it yet. Hmm. You think so? Anybody disagree? Huh? All right, so here is uh, the answer to uh, number 11. Okay, number 11 is an organization question. Basically, uh, taking a look at your notes and how did the uh, professor organize the uh, lecture? And uh, so putting yourself in the shoes of the professor, basically. Um, that's a hard one. D is correct. The professor says that the trumpet cannot play all the notes of classical music, and this fact kept the trumpet from reaching its full musical potential. Uh, answer choice A is incorrect because the professor mentioned uh, virtuoso or expert trumpets, trumpeters. Yeah. 
It's a lot of words in uh, the, in music that are uh, have an, uh, an Italian origin, yeah, um, or Latin-based languages at least, yeah, uh, which imply that uh, okay, that virtuoso or expert trumpeters, uh, which implies that people achieved mastery of the instrument before the 18th century. B is incorrect because the professor mentions uh, various uses of the trumpet besides uh, communication before the 18th century. Uh, answer C is incorrect because the professor says that bending the bending of the tube made the trumpet more convenient or easier to handle before the 18th century. Okay, that's number 11. And okay, now we're finished with the listening comprehension activity. Uh, that's a wrap.